Yep. Hose, just quickly before we start, Bernie, what did we have out there in a few words? Justin, very happy with the great start. Keep it dirty, keep it tight, and keep the pressure on until they break away. That was his call at quarter time. Very happy with that start because that pressure had converted into goals scored. So. Secondary ball up coming up, and Darcy will be joining us in just a sec. Um, we'll get more scores from out of grounds at half time, Hose. We'll do a, a complete wrap as, again, ball neutralised. Clint Dow wins, wins his own tap. Handball's out wide, beautifully done. Zachy McKay down forward, looks for Melville on the bounce. Just drops what he should have taken there. Ross Trevor to clean up. So oh. get a bit of treatment at quarter time, Trent Melvin, on a high thighs. So whether he's carrying on, don't know. He didn't really make a good effort at that, did he? Ball spills high thighs. Is that around the penis area? Yes. Okay, good luck to him with that. As we see Ross Trevor go forward now. Uh, it looks like all oh, these number changes. It's Fantasia. Habs Fantasia. But it's McKay at the bottom. Hurley, handsome Hurley, extracts a handle. T Tree Gully first onto it. On the bottom of the pack. Fighting hard. Ball it up, Mr. Umpire. And he makes the right decision. Darcy, very quickly, what did we get from the Ross Trevor? Yeah, no, he was just very frustrated. I think we said it during that quarter time that um, look, they're second the ball. Um, and obviously, some of the full forward, uh, the forward liners and the teacher are just barking uh, on their own. They're just uh, uncontested marks. He was very frustrated. That kept his composure. He said, look, let's start enjoying our footy, getting back to where we, what we talked about before the game. McKay to McKay to show a makers through the middle. Ball turned over there, but spilt. Oh, that's quick. Who Johnny is that? Birkin, Johnny Birkin bursts through, but his kicking's let him down on this occasion. Is there anything said to the defenders about Ryan Spittle? Does? They did. That's the uncontested marks and the Spittle's taken by himself. He's very frustrated. That's the only thing. He was composed, which you probably expect in this day and age. But he said, he said just got to get on, the, get on the man on the mark. Sorry, guys. Get on the man. And just make sure there's uh, when the ball goes in their forward line, we have got uh, there's some of their sport or punch. Ross Trevor long to Denham. Denham goes out to the centre wing. Ball sport. It's spilt out. We'll have a throw in on the outer wing. Hose. Well, Karen, Karen Holland has got spittle to start this second quarter, but um, again they're playing plus one in there. Ross Trevor. So this will be interesting. And but they're they're plus one in the set in the first quarter come from the stoppage. Now it's coming from the forward line. So this is uh, this interesting. Yeah, the ball's out in the outer side ground. Ross Trevor clear. They're going to go into the centre half forward, half forward flank position. The ball's punched and gets close to the boundary line. Cam Tiggerman takes it out. And uh, the ball will restart next to the Tea Tree Gully recyclers. And take all your cans of bottles there. Yeah, unless I'm mistaken, is that is that Kermain in ruck for Ross Trevor? Number 27 it is. Yeah, it is. Kermain in ruck with Dowie. Interesting. They've had to uh, rob Peter to pay Paul. Hurley, drop punt. Down the full forward area. Oh, he's paid the push, has he? He has. Jacob Gilby, AFL experienced player, giving a little nudge um, that probably would have knocked over a wheelie bin full of uh, that recycling that we were just talking about. The umpire pays the free. Chad's trying to make a battery to come back on. What's his name, sorry? Chad. Chad. <laughs> oh, touche, Darcy. That's beautifully played. <laughs> Has the ball come Tetra Gully to the outer side? I love giving you the big nudge. Oh, Good pressure. Pressure has lifted by Ross Trevor, but also pressure the same by Tea Tree Gully. Tea Tree Gully, yeah. Tom, that's, yeah. Oh, that's, that's there, it's been it. tough today, Tea Tree Gully. The pressure's just been amazing today, and Ross Trevor aren't quite taking it. That's obviously why they're five goals up uh, coming into the second quarter. There's not a lot of free ball to be won here, but this Tea Tree Gully will come out the near side. Zach McKay. On his own again. Yeah. He shakes onto the right. He finds, is that Birkin? Johnny Birkin. Yeah, Birkin takes control of the ball after a fumble. This way, that away. Down the line, Melville on his tits. Beautiful mark. Long way out, long way out this one, Tommy. So 55 metres out from the Javor pocket. Can he kick it? Yeah, that's the problem you play with playing the plus one, taking one out from the forward lines. You get that one free to, to run off halfback. He goes bang across the face. Ball spills. Ross Trevor should run it through here. No, they bring it across the ground. They'll come out. They'll clear to the side in front of us. It's about Tom through Charlie O'Malley. Our winner of an award last week, wasn't he, Das? He certainly was, and uh, good to see this award winners and see what we can do today again. O'Malley to O'Malley to Holm. He runs with one hand like an Akuta Fides. Oh, oh, straight into the back of Nelligan. Yeah, umpire's called it. Bit slow on the whistle there. And uh, you can go fetch that ball, handsome Tom Hurley. No, I'll get it for you. No, piss off, get away from it. Thank you, my ball. Hurley gives it back. Pretty good today, no red or yellow card so far. <laughs> oh, special comments, Luke Hosey, uh, Luke. our umpire's expert. 
Ross Trevor, bit of freedom and movement here in space. This is Michael Code. Yeah. Credit where it's due. The umpire's been very good. Code darting left foot kick. That's beautiful. That's good football. Ross Trevor just starting to lift a little bit. Fantasia there. Paul Fantasia, he's going to amaze you. Yep. He's a good mark, taking the ball at its highest point. 16 metres out, right in front of us. Fantasia, he's going to have a shot. He is going to have a shot. Oh, he's giving it a big old roost, hasn't he? That's gone 60 metres. The good game is when you don't notice the umpires, you never notice them today, so you know they're doing a darn good job. Yep. That's right. I just couldn't agree with you more in both footy and cricket. You never notice the umpires. It helps that they're not mic'd up, I think. That's something that the AFL needs to look at. I don't really care what they've got to say. Blow the whistle. And just a lull in play here as we had to fetch the ball because Fantasia's just put that one into the car park. But the um, ball comes back in now. Great position. Well done there. The man in front. Teetri Gully Ruckman. McKay, he's caught there. He hasn't disposed of it greatly. He got a bit of the handball away there. No, no, he's 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 bit... that. Yeah, but... And that's Code again. Code, this time off his right foot to the same position. It's a good little kick to... Uh, it's up Nelligan. Nelligan. Nelligan, 50 metres out. He fires out a handball. Oh, uh -huh. from the pocket. No, just across the face. Yeah, McKay tried to break the tackle, you know. And, you know Ineffective only... possession. Yeah, it's only got a handball away, yeah. but it was a... Ugly looking handball. When you when you, when you try to break break the tackle, that's hard. Yeah. Yeah. Don't see Bakay getting tackled very often either. So it's uh, uh, still by yeah. two yeah. about here too. He is. Yeah. The scoreboard six four to one two now. Thirty two points. Michael Code's picking him up. He's just sort of walking away. Michael Code, but he's left. Yeah. Uh, all by himself. Mark out in the wing to Ross Trevor. They come in forward. He'll look for. Oh, I've got really well read by the man in the head helmet, Tiggerman. He tried to get his well, kick away, but kick. Ross Trevor have gained possession again. But they're under pressure straight away again. The ball's still in Ross Trevor's hands. Oh. Nice little fake oh, there. Beautiful left foot nice. kick to Nelligan. Is that Nelligan? That's Hobbs. Hobbs. Yep. Hobbs. That's, uh, Hobbs. Another uncontested Hobbs. mark down there for, for Ross Trevor Hobbs. now, finally. So maybe something is turning their way because it has been down their forward line quite often this quarter. So things may be turning around for Ross Trevor's <laughs> Now, of course, it's not your first rodeo, Bernie, but when I said you would have heeded my warning, watch out for Ross Trevor, they will keep coming and coming. You just start to see some of the skills, some of the play as Homs lines up from 40 metres out and angry. No doubt about it. A good team. They've got some good main plays in there. And that's, uh, that looks like it's going to be a yeah. nice in there. Nick so you don't want to take them lightly, and we never do. Teacher, you're going to never take a team lightly. Yep. Like I said, that's the first goal for the quarter, and it's gone to Ross Trevor. So for me, the two players that have come into it and starting to do some damage is home through the middle. He's starting to shake and bake and mix and move, but Code starting to pick up some loose ball off half back and deliver off both left and right foot. He's set up twice. Firstly, Fantasia, that time it was Hodge. Is that Burke and you, Leslie, coming back on the ground again, replacing that uh, Cowwell? Hammer Kowalik. Hammer Kowalik. Yeah, that's a, that happened Maddie in the first quarter too, so that's a designated move in the back half, both quarters so far. And their midfield rotation still, it's great. Teacher Gully with the centre break, long down to 4 4. Beautiful spoil by Ross Trevor, but position A is Zach McKay. That Ryan's a quick left footer kick, should dribble out to the pocket, will it? No, Melville beats it. It's an ugly bounce. Yeah. Old oh, treble, Ross Trevor. this. Who the left footed player can't make him out Malley. There's O'Malley in board. Code's loose again on the wing in front of us. Maybe towards half back. Gives an overlap handle. You're in trouble here, son. Bang! Welcome to the Tea Tree Gully Oval. And again, great pressure by Gully. The big fella, Blake Penny, below his knees. Right in front of where we're sitting. Right in front of where we're sitting. Now, Legan. Lovely to watch. No, I really nice was. Nice there by Ross Trevor then. Just uh, did some sloppy handballs. And Tea Tree Gully by Zach McKay is going to send it in long, which he yeah. does. Great looking kick, it's probably going to drop short and good mark there, Ross Trevor. Really heavily, uh, heavily influenced by Norwood where they go back to go forward. Yeah, and that was it was, was Yuga, Yuga Lessig sitting out the back getting the handball from Penny that set that up. Disappointed with that entry, I think the uh, Trent's lead should have been on it then and he's just kicked it long into the square. That's not good. This is Tulio Di Mateus or DMAC as they call him or That's Tools, former league player, played, Nord, played for Nord. Again, Ross Trevor, they break. They run now in a wave. It's O'Malley. He finds Bacanello. Bacanello kick. A little untidy. Gives it to Jake Vanderhack. He quickly gets it on the hand, but it's no good. Terrible handle. And that's Kermain. Yeah, look, you can't. Your disposal's got to be clean. It's got to be more efficient coming off half back. He's coughed it up. And when you've, your team's running one way and you cough it up in Division One football, only one thing will happen. A Ford's going to get on the end of it. And Tommy, he lives with Luke Brown, so Luke Brown will not be happy with that disposal. Ford. Young Jake Vanderhack. Come on, Vanderhack. You're better than that. Yeah, you, you miss with the target. Uh, Ford, you're going to get burned on the way back. So, yeah. Yeah. one foot of you, but, yeah. As you see, Kermain having a shot in the right and he was having a shot at goal. So 40 metres out straight in front. 
Leans back. Easy a dead eye dig. <laughs> and it is. This is looking good, guys, now for us, Trevor. It is a goal. Straight through. I wouldn't say straight through the middle, but he, he's got it through. Heath Germain. That's his first for the day. It's Ross Trevor's third. Ross Trevor, three goals, 220. Exactly half the score of Tea Tree Gully. But they're coming hard. Six, six goals, 440. On the South Wales Demon scoreboard, also sponsored, Tea Tree Gully sponsor, Australian Outdoor Living. You could be for, forgiven for thinking that the uh, northern end of the ground, the uh, right wide end of the ground, is the uh, wind assisted. Oh, it's not. Eight goal breeze, mate. No, there there's isn't. There's there's no breeze. breeze. Perfect day for football like today. It's perfect conditions for footy as we hit the 10 minute mark of the second quarter. Home. Holm swings. He dodges one, he dodges two. He goes backwards to release. I can't make who that is. Uh, might have been, uh, I don't know who it was. But he kicks to the wing. He finds Braden Allen. Allen up forward. That's no mark. Oh, it is a mark. Homsch. 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 Clint Dow waits to go on. Homsch, 55 metres out. Short pass. Kamena on the lead. Marks it in the Bernie Flynn pocket. Right in front of the scoreboard. Yeah, that's right, the Bernie Flynn Kicking pocket. Any goals out there, Bernie? I did kick a lot of goals from there in my time, mate, I must admit. So any, anywhere on the over, I'd have a cracker. You're a left footer. Right footer. Right footer. Tough kick for a right footer out there. Yes, and right in front of the gu gully meat services as well. Great sponsor of the club. I do like meat, Bernie. So, uh, uh, St. Agnes Men's Hair Centre. There's all Sam Dorman. He's sport power. 40, 45 metres out. Right angle. Oh, he likes it off the boot. Kermaine has come into this game. And Ross Trevor are coming back into the game. Uh, they certainly are. There's something happened at quarter time. They just said, we've got to start doing things we did Thursday and what we spoke about today. Now, what that was, the gee whiz obviously doing it now and it's sort of turned, turned the game around and uh, actually hasn't been in... Um, we haven't seen a guy's score yet. And uh, What's that, the third goal this quarter for uh, Ross Trevor? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, beautifully put, Das. It's, um, it's been all Ross Trevor this quarter for some reason. South Wales full board. It's... Um, 6-4 to Tetra Gully, 4-2 to, uh, to, uh, to Ross Trevor, and it's only 14 points of difference. Dow wins the ball down. Balls wrestle between two opponents. It looks like Shower Makers and Nelligan. Um, we'll have a secondary ball up here. Dow wins the tap. It's a mess in there. 25 players around the ball. Ross Trevor break. McCallum. McCallum to Jordan. Oh, in the back there. Well done there by Gravel Dick, the Doc Sandicott. Once again, it's great to have you here. Just to, you're all over these teacher gully guys. So, um, who, who's been most, as the ball just goes up, most impressive for you so far? I think Pete Personal's been a fantastic addition. He's a power running. Ball, ball spills, secondary ball. Probably the two best players from mine for gullies today, uh, McKay and Personal, both about to come from a spell. <laughs> Yeah, and of course, Spittle the most dangerous forward, no doubt about that. Just uh, has been well held this quarter as Teacher Gully haven't had the forward efficiency moving forward. You can't claim that, Clint. Always wrapped up. You want to get rid of it? He does. It's like a pinball machine in there. Yeah, Gully, uh, sorry, Ross Trevor, three handballs. Spills to Bacanello. He's been good. Kamein from behind. Yeah, great position by Sandicock. He brought it down because he was in front. And that allows it to spill to McKay, the man bun. Goes out wide to Haggard. Haggard goes long to half forward. Getting on to the end is that man Spittle. He'll spit onto the right. Comes in board. Looks for Melville. He grabs it. Oh, drops what he could have probably taken. On the, thought we had on the second grab, but no, uh, good pressure there by the, the full back in uh, Ross Trevor. And as the umpire says, it's my ball now, just about oh, 40. Yeah. Tom Bilby having a lesson half forward. Alex McKay's dragging him off the ball here. The ball's in his area. It's about 35 minutes out. 
Be personal. Still waiting to get back on the ground. Yep. As Dinham releases for Ross Trevor out to the pocket. Handsome Tom Hurley on the far side. Half back flank for Ross Trevor. Sees the ball out. We'll have a ball in, boys. And uh, we've got a 14 point ball game here. The Gully's way at beautiful Perderinger Oval. Great to see again. Probably close to a thousand people in their cars scattered around the ground. And great support behind us from all the Tea Tree Gully old folk and locals. In a nice way. Ball up, spins to Ross Trevor. They release through Hamble. That Hamble starting to find more efficiency. Although, having said that, Hurley coughs it up. Ross Trevor go back in and get it. We're going to have a wrap up, a ball up. A lot of ball ups today. I reckon we'll get more than 100 of them comfortably. It's pretty weird on the foot, as we said earlier. Okay, cards being fired off in each direction. The gully's there. This time they win the ball. Bernie, who's got it there? We've got it out now. Here's Dylan Shalmakers again. A very skillful player. He, that's why he played at the Crows. Oh. He's got a lucky kick in and Trent's got it about 15 metres out dead yeah. in front. <laughs> We've got Peter Pesnos in here. Let special laugh special, about that special comments, Pete he's, Pesnos. He's, he's just said a rude laugh. word. He's tried to dodge three. He's gotten a lot of trouble. He's slammed on his boot. He kicked the check side 20 metres to his right. And, Position A, Trent Milgrew. Trent should put this uh, over the nets and into the lower car park. Yeah, he'll put it into the Darcy Evans car park here. <laughs> there it goes. Beautifully done by Trent Milgrew. Goal there because they rushed to work coming out, Teacher Gully, but the Chit's going to get that one now. It's 7 4 46. Six. That would be to 4 2 26. And both sides make three rotations. Yeah. Really important one that for Trent. Uh, Trent's first of the day, that'll give him a bit of confidence. But again, just get the ball forward quickly. It doesn't have to be the best kick. If you're in front, uh, you could certainly come your way. But you'd have to probably say that at the moment, Charlie O'Malley, who did the job on Nick Jolly this week, has done a great job on Trent Millville to this point. Well, he is, and they're also playing it, so Millville's got basically inside 50 on his own. Obviously, he gave him a shot as he's had as a, as a, as a weapon to have him run out inside 50. So, um, yeah, he's doing a great job at fullback on him. Just quickly, boys, as the ball comes back, looking in the middle, we've got Dow. Um, who have we got? We've got Dow, Burke and McKay and, and Shower Makers for, for the galleys. I guess you don't care that much who's in there for us, Trevor, but it is. it looks like Hurley, Holm, um, Willow Malley. And the big fella in ruck is, of course... Is that Kamei? As the ball goes up, we have a secondary ball up. Can't get his number because he's... Uh... No, no, Holm's not rucking. No. Holm, will, Holm, will, Holm will get the clearance and swing onto his left. You watch this. Holm does not take possession. Fantasia was the rucking there. Holm's got it now at the back of the pack. Goes out to Willow Malley. He scoops it wider. Fantasia again. He's now just... Kept it clear, He's everywhere. Down to number Litter. Littler. 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 Did put some L there, TJ. Swings on to his left. Left footer. They're all good left footers. Good looking kick, but straight to Tea Tree Gully. Straight to that man, Huggy, the Huggy Bear. He'll go straight across goals, but plenty of time, plenty of space there. Gully's. Oh, a disco biscuit type kick. <laughs> oh. Gravel's got it now. Gravel Nick's got it. He kicks it towards Alex McKay, who will see it go out of bounds. I think that's hurting us, Trevor. We're going with um, um, Ben Page. He's up against the ball. And down. Yep. And you heard it first here on SA Football, the TV uh, live call, uh, that we did say that Jimmy Butterworth wouldn't be playing today and that would affect Ross Trevor. So uh, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and thanks to all our great sponsors. Oh, the game's running in the midfield now. And if you're getting a clear run, we'll be on the and thanks to Jesus Christ, my saviour, for not raining today because if it rains, we're stuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As we see, secondary ball up. We've got Jacob. Jacob's here, he can save us. Actually, we're all private Catholic school boys, aren't we? PAC, St. Paul's, St. Paul's, Tapparoo High. Black Fries. Black Fries, there you go. Fantastic. And we just, there's another ball up. Ross Trevor coming clear. 
pressure's still on by the gullies. They have to keep this relentlessly up there. They know Josh River are a dangerous team. It's still out on the end of it. They want to get it dirty, they yeah. want to get it tight, and then they break away when they can. We're not calling a lot of play by plays at the moment because it's right on the outer wing. It's, I can tell you, it's, yeah, it's tackle, smother, block, uh, uh, you know, impeded handball, and that's all we're getting, and now we've got a ball in. Dow wins the tap. Out of the back of the pack that comes, comes towards the centre. It's getting oh, that's holding the ball. That's holding the ball. That's holding the ball. No. Yeah, but what I, I thought Hosey had the opportunity to handle. He didn't handle. So he, he chose to hold it in, and for mine, that was holding the ball. Kieran Holland there, very lucky. There's a few players bouncing it out there. Red and black, and black and red, and it's white. And what's going on there? But it's going to say, look, the pressure oh, here on both sides. Yeah. That, that was moved probably 20 metres this side, just all from tackling, smothering. And everyone's jumping on it, so the pressure on both sides. Looks like it's got 60 players around here. Hurley and Jordan featuring there. Third man up. We'll see a bit of that. This time, that third man up was Holland. Gareth, with you being a forward of the marshal, who are the two of I don't know that guy. I've never seen the ball comes forward here. One second, boys. There it is. The ball comes up. Now they get a bit teacher gully should clear, but another sloppy handball. Foxy's got it out. Got it out wide enough. Yep. For you, Glessig. Zach McKay turns around, pops it up in the air, and says, Boys, have a crack at that. Cam Tiggerman goes up for it. Alex McKay's down the bottom. You, Glessig's in there again. Ross Trevor come out with it, and they're away. Jack Nelligan, well, hello. The other oh. boys to say no. That's oh, and he's pulled it back. I tell you, oh, thank you, Darcy. I mean, Jack Nelligan's running free into the forward line, and he's pulled it back. Fairness, I mean, I've been critical the last few weeks, but today I've been really good as well. The main flies. Good spoil ball spill right out in front of the scoreboard. 45 metres out from the T-Tree Gully goal, uh, from the Ross Trevor goal. Just addressing that question, are you aware of the umpires? Was? No, I've never seen them before. Okay, let's move on. They're doing a great job, so let's just move on. Ball in here. Dow again, he's got the height advantage. Tough to tell who won that one. It does spill to Zach McKay. Loose handball, Ross Trevor swoop on it. Three minutes into time on in the second quarter. And what I liked about that, Daniel McCallum rolled the shoulders to allow the tackle to slip high, and the umpire didn't get sucked in. Good umpiring there. Teacher Gully spills it now. Two handles, but a quick tackle there. Looks like early laying the tackle, is it? And, it, and again, I talked about it during the, the Monday night show that we record that goes to air Thursday. Code will sit in front of Melville. You can bet your bottom dollar on it. May have even mentioned it to Mishkota today. As Cedric goes, they'll come this way. Oh, interesting kick. Fortuitously. Doc Sandercock, he's wrapped up from a, from a hospital handball. High risk, high reward. Yeah, I'm again. No, no pride there. Plus, so. well, it's given me, boys, a little ball up. Just a little bit Dow again, wins the tap. Down to uh, uh, Littler. Littler's kick smothered, but spills to Ross Trevor. Quick handball. Alex McKay. He's coming right in front of us, boys. Big right fly, pack crunches, ball spills, right in front of us now. Oh, I'm getting up near the threshold Luke of Alex pain, boys. Of <laughs> yeah, well done there. Okay, it's going to be a ball in now again. Blake Penny's made way here. Gives a little hello, how's your mother to Brody Allen? So it's Fantasia versus Penny. About a one foot height advantage here. You expect Penny to win the tap, but he doesn't. It's Fantasia. Alex McKay, that man, bottom of a pack. We've seen that about 15,000 times before. He tries to bring the play down on top of him, doesn't he? You see him roll the player over with him. He tries yeah. to bring him down. Up to the, the ball now. Blake Penny once again has a tussle with Fantasia. The big fella goes in there. From Locked up the again. Oh, so I've actually now, it's interesting to note, Bernie, really good observation. I actually tried that one with the misses at home. You grab them, you roll with them, and they come down on top of you, and you're just going to hope for the best. You might get a free, you might not, but it does work. Hello to Katie out there, and uh, yes, as a uh, T-Tree Gully with the ball. Oh, oh. Spittle with his first mistake for the day. Ha Hurley, quick hand, probably a throw. It's hotted up here. Both sides going pretty hard up the Yep. Ball spills. I tell you what, the intensity is lifted in this one right in front of us. It yeah, is a hot contest. Right in front of us, fellas. That's how hard they're going in at yeah. the moment. Gee whiz. It is, no one's taking it. Go, it's good. It is absolutely cozy. That's, uh, just let it go. Let's just play footy, boys, and we'll get on with it. No one gets hurt. No, no one gets upset. Oh, you've, got, you've got two sides going straight at the footy. There's nothing, nothing under the Nothing dirty, exactly. Yeah. 
as Dinham here in the ruck now with Penny. Slightly taller here, Dinham, of course. Uh, Nicky Dinham, Din, former North Adelaide Reserves captain, premiership captain at that. As we see McKay matching up with O'Malley. Interesting contest. McKay probably winning that one at this stage. Good tackle, Tea Tree Gully, but it spills. Hurley really starting to get into the game. Kicks a mongrel barrel. Doc Sandercock leads the ball. Crap bounce, but comes to Tea Tree Coxie. Gully. Coxie gets the ball to Bilby. Bilby over the middle of the ground to Jakey Huggard, the Huggy Bear. He kicks it wide and Gully. See, that's Zach McKay. They're going to relieve a little bit of pressure now and slow the game down a bit. It just goes out further to the wing and he sees Jakey Huggard in the one too. 25 and a half uh, gone in the second quarter, so probably not long to go. We get another one now that might be the uh, last half of the game. So four goals this quarter. The next one's going to be crucial, boys. Big punch. Schools to Ross Trevor. Such Dummy hands. Their, their best chance now is Jimmy um, Jordan here. This chance is going to send him along as he does. They call him the Ram. He likes to ram in young Jimmy. Big long kick there, though. From a Fantasia, Fantasia. Couldn't get there. It's down near uh, their pocket on the left hand side. Not a lot of they were running the ball in there. As it spills. Oh, well, it rides the bump nicely, the Ross Trevor player. Look at this pressure. Oh, it's intense. Three or four players. O'Malley. Players around Ross Trevor. That's exactly what's going on, Ben. <laughs> Home is wrapped up now. Got four players on one trying to get the ball. There's no chance let, for a going to pick it up. Let me explain that one. So Craig Holm, he does look to take the player on regularly, so the locals have got onto that. He's been tackled. He's been impeded. They're called. Oh! And that's going to happen a lot when he gets the ball because he takes it on, as has... That, no, he's yeah. not holding the ball, Hose. He hasn't tackled. He just touched it. All you do is touch him when they take the ball out the, out, out the ruck contest. Interesting, that. So number three, that's that Braden Allen. He has. He's caught the ball from the ruck contest. No. Yeah, you just got to touch him. As in tag. Yeah, touch him. Ludicrous. Yeah, beautifully done, boys. So well, let's just have a look at uh, the South Wyala Demons Football Club scoreboard. Das, what have we got? We've got uh, Teach Gully 7 4 46 to Rush Trail 4 2 26.